Yes, everybody, welcome, 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 welcome. You're welcome to here with yours truly. You know the deal. It's uh, it's your it's it's your buddy pal or buddy friend, whatever, whatever <laughs> confidence or confidence. Yes, uh, Dave Nation is definitely here. It's here to stay. It's I kid you not, everybody. Dave Nation is here to stay, and it always will be on YouTube. Dave Nation has rocked the world, has really rocked it to new heights, new heights, and new possibilities, and new creators every single day, every single week, if you can believe that, on YouTube. New creators, new thinking, new possibilities. Yes, it's always going to be new possibilities. You got to uh, you got to think strong, think outside the box. You got to think of everything in the whole world. It's real life, real stories on Storyfire. Yes, we're going to promote this like uh, the Juggernugger always keeps doing. We're going to promote this real life, real stories, and it's on only exclusively on Storyfire. Yours truly, Dave Nation, is going to make sure you have good stories. Good ideas, think outside the box, get those ideas outside the box, go wide and strong, and make sure everybody knows about it. So we're going to have real life, that's real life people, with real stories, and real emotions, real freaking emotions. We need to have people with real emotions on these stories of ours, out there in the world. Real emotions, okay? These are not just robot people. These are just human beings on the planet, not aliens, not UFOs, uh, not little green men that people seem to see in the in the distance and stuff. These are not these are not alien people. These are human beings on the planet today. A thousand, maybe a billion people on this planet. I don't know what the number is. People will look it up on Google. I don't have the fort right to do it, but I know people are going to look it up on Google. We have almost a billion people on this planet. The population keeps going up. Not down, but up. They want to... This planet can hold a, almost a trillion people on this planet. So you want to have real life, real stories, and real emotions. Right here, on exclusively, on Storyfire. Just like the Juggernauger would say. That's right. And keep it lit. Keep it lit. <laughs> his T-shirt uh, t that he wears, you got to keep it lit. You got to keep it lit. You got to keep the fire going. It's like a campfire. You got to keep it going. We're going to tell stories, real stories, real life of real people and real emotions. Real freaking emotions. Uh, it runs the gamut of emotions. Um, Feelings, motions, you name it. Gotta think outside the box. So it's exclusively right here. We're gonna talk about real life, real stories, exclusively. I remember it's exclusively to the Storyfire app. Exclusively. I'm gonna promote it heavily, just like the Junker Nugger did on his t-shirts that he wears. But like I said, this will be exclusive. I wanna talk about real life. <laughs> That's right, real life real stories and I want to think outside the box and real emotions. We want to talk about emotions and feelings about everybody and everybody on this planet to nation to nation to city to city to towns to towns uh, to pillar to post. We want to make sure that you people are on board. We are creators. We are creators from uh, Storyfire. Okay, so, uh, Storyfire creators are going to do what they need to do on that app on that site so I'm gonna put the hashtag called Storyfire app and I'm gonna make sure it's gonna happen it's gonna be happening it's gonna be happening so I'm yelling but anyway I want to create real life real people real stories and real emotion and real feelings to all these stories that people tell out there um, I get very emotional when I hear very emotional stories to if it's uh, from their life, from the way they uh, began, where they're born, to where they are in an adult age. I want to create that, uh, create those stories, real life, real stories, and I want to get that theme going. It's a theme, everybody. It's a theme, okay? Think outside the box. Think outside the, uh, the realm that you're not used to doing. Just think of real life, real stories. Exclusively, it's oh, it's going to be exclusively on the Storyfire. That's right, Storyfire app. If you don't know already, go check it out. Go download the app on Storyfire app. 
And you'll, you'll get, it'll be exclusively, every story is going to be exclusively, it's going to be enhanced, it's going to have character in it. Oh, it's going to have character in it. You thought uh, the, uh, uh, Jesse Witchway had, uh, had character. I'm going to have character as well here on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to have character. I'm going to have character to my face, my feelings, my emotions. And we're going to talk about real people, real life, and real stories, and real communication. Everything that we'll do is going to be done right here exclusively with yours truly, Dave Nation, of all Dave Nations. We're going to kick it out with a brand new stories to be really, really appreciate to what we do. Everything is going to be scrutinized. Everything in the world is going to be scrutinized. And I kid you not, even the juggernaut did in his old videos. Everything is going to be scrutinized, going to be uh, really scrutinized, going to be really forthright, deep, 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 think of deep, deep, deep thoughts, think of deep, deep thoughts. We're going to think outside the box, real life, real stories, real human beings, not aliens, not UFOs, not green men or men in black or the real men in black, so-called Asian guys. Um... We're not talking about that. We're not talking about the people who uh, uh, did the Men in Black, like you know, with Will Smith or uh, Tommy Lee Jones type of guys. No, we're not talking about them. We're talking about the real Men in Black in the real world. Are they actually secret Asian people, or they're just here to tell people never to mention about UFOs or aliens? We're here to prove that theory. We're here to prove that theory in real life, in real stories, and real communication. By the way, these are re uh, are these actual Men in Black the real deal, or is it the Men in Black on the films? Are we talking about a theory? Are we talking about facts? Are we talking about men who show up and they're like government agent people? Are they? Because I, I, there's videos online that have proof that these real so-called real black Men in Black. This is not the Tommy Lee Jones or the Will Smith of the world. These are real men in black. They're secret people, secret agent that we never even heard of. But anyway, we want to talk about real life, real stories, real communication, real feelings, real emotions, right here on these videos. And we're going to talk about loud and strong. And we want to be creators. We want to be creators on YouTube. I've, I've mentioned, I never mentioned this before. These are real cr uh, creators from the story fires people to the YouTube videos. Um, we're going to keep doing videos. The Juggernaut wants to quit at the end of this year. I'm not going to quit. Yours truly is not going to quit, YouTube. I'm not going to put in my, any of my titles. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going what I'm doing and stay right here. So you can count on me. You count on me. I'm not quitting YouTube whatsoever. I will not quit YouTube. Be uh, take that to the bank. I will not quit YouTube. Other people quit YouTube, but I will assure you not. I will not quit YouTube. Uh, maybe maybe to the breaking point I will but until then uh, I will not quit YouTube I will not quit YouTube you hear me everybody out there I will not quit YouTube I'll be here on this platform for a very long time unless unless I start passing away and then I don't have any videos up there anymore until then I will be on YouTube I promise you I'll make a I'll make a promise, I'll make a pact with everybody. I won't be on YouTube as long as YouTube has been around. I'll be on YouTube, okay? If YouTube's no longer there, I won't be there. But until then, I will be on YouTube as long as, as, long as everybody wants me to be there on YouTube. The Juggernugger is leaving at the end of this year. That's good for him. Not, uh, but it will be great for me because I'll be doing videos, more videos than ever on that platform. Uh, I just heard him uh, talk about his quitting. He's quitting YouTube for good and moving to uh, uh, to uh, Storyfire. He can do whatever he wants because that's his platform. But for me, I speak about myself. I'll stay on the YouTube platform for a long time, for a long time. So I won't be going away and collect or dust or anything. I'll be still be doing videos till I pass away. Whatever that will be. Whatever it carries me out of my house and to another world, to the great beyond, to the heavens. I will still be doing videos as long as you guys want me to. And I'm not quitting YouTube, okay? You won't be seeing a video from me saying I'm quitting. 
YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube. Just bear this in mind, everybody. I'm not quitting YouTube, okay? Maybe with peer pressure, I will. But I, until then, I'm keep going, do my videos on YouTube. And um, I'm not just raising my voice. I mean that, folks. I saw Jesse Winchway, that's his name, the Juggernugger guy. He's quitting YouTube for good. I mean, on that platform, he's quitting YouTube. He had a video out like a couple a week ago saying that he's quitting YouTube for good at the end of this, at end of this year in 2019. I, myself, in my own hand, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing on YouTube. And I'll be permanently on YouTube for the rest of my life until I pass away. And then you won't be seeing videos on me anymore unless you want to see my old videos again. Uh, but until then, I'll be putting out a lot of videos, a lot of venture videos. There may be some few of them out there, but I'm creating my own videos. I'm a creator first um, to help out other creators out there that would create more videos out there. You know, I'm a big motivator for a lot of videos out there. And sometimes I do follow from the wayside. I try and do the best I can, the best of my ability to put these out there. If it were, I'll tell you what, if it, if it weren't for me, YouTube wouldn't be around. It, it just wouldn't be around. And I'm not kidding, bro. Uh, kidding everybody. If it weren't for me, I would be doing these videos that I put out to you people out there. So, but then I said, my, I will not, as they say, I will not leave YouTube. The Juggernugger on his platform could leave on YouTube. That's his video. He put out a video mentioning all that. But I won't. I will stay on this platform as long as I want to. Uh, it's based on users. Based on users, uh, people. Just remember, it's based on users who use their own YouTube channels. Um, they can leave anytime they want off a YouTube platform. But I'll stay on there as long as I want to. And nobody's going to kick me off, essentially. Anyway, I want to say, everybody, see you guys on the next, next podcast, next Dave Nation podcast. Anyway, see you guys on the next uh, YouTube video. Hope you liked it. Hope you get. It. I just want. I just want to be a creator first, and real life, real stories, and real communication, real, you know, emotional feeling stories. Uh, people get very emotional at this particular time it's a very emotional time everybody's going with these days people are passing away people are happy unhappy to uh, you name it so we want to have feelings in our videos we want to show feelings raw emotions raw flipping emotions in cameras on camera off camera we want to show emotions we're human we're not aliens we're, we want to show really really true stories Real life, real people want to talk about real stories. And I'm going to get the heart of the matter of this stuff. Really the heart of the matter. And just see which way. He's getting off at YouTube at the end of this year. He can do that because it's his, that's, remember, it's his platform. He can do whatever he wants because that's his YouTube channel. That's the user-based channel. Um, but he said a few days ago that he's leaving YouTube completely and going on to this uh, that him and the other guy created called Story uh, Story Fire, and keep it lit, keep it lit, keep it going. It's like it's like a campfire stories. Keep it going. Keep it. Uh, it's like um, it's like a story that should keep going. Um, I'm gonna talk about uh, he wears these T-shirts around saying Story Fire and keep it lit or the whole. Thing about that I kind of I, I really like that slogan I really do and Jesse Witchway and the other guy created this website called Storyfire and they really wanted to put out the videos that they want to put out and have the other people watch them um, YouTube uh, has many many defaults defaults I'm saying defaults on their platforms and people are getting off there for many reasons. But when I go on YouTube, tons of people are already putting videos up there. Just due to the fact that a lot of people are leaving YouTube at the, the end of the year. I'm not. I'm staying on this platform, on YouTube. As long as as long as I, I can do it. As long as I can create the videos that you people appreciate and subscribe to and view, I'll still be on this platform. Uh, this YouTube platform. I'm not going. I'm not going away. If you're going to ask me this, I'm not going to go away on YouTube. I'm going to stay where I need to be, where my fan base is, essentially. 
and real life, real stories, and real human motions. These are people with, we're not, uh, humans are not create like, uh, they're not like robots. Humans are not like robots. Bear that in mind, robots don't have feelings. Human beings have feelings. Uh, that's, that, that, now that's real tried and true, as I would say. They show real emotions, real feelings, and sometimes we need to uh, overcome that. We need to overcome true feelings. Uh, move on closures if there's closures in your lives uh, we have de definitely it's like an autopsy we need to have closure uh, right after the autopsy I saw this video about autopsy and uh, the whole notion of that is pe and the families want closures they all talk about closures because it moves them on to the next part of their life knowing that they have closures um, of their loved ones passing away or Anyway, we won't get into the other stuff, but families need closures when their loved ones have passed away. They need to have closures. I mean, a lot of people, I'm not advocating to this, that's the whole notion. After some loved one passed away in the media family, no matter who it is, needs closure. And they want to find out, you know, they need to find out closures, and closures mean it gives you a sense of how they passed away to where they are in the afterlife. And it, it sometimes sometimes it leaves a bad taste in their mouth, and sometimes it lingers on for years and years of sad people passing away. And that may happen. They may happen. It may linger off from after the closures. Uh, but it still gives you that satisfaction you do have closures from loved ones who passed away. Um, so you're not lingering on all the time. Um, but that's good, that's good, folks. Keep keep the closures going and do your final thoughts. Do final thoughts of people who passed away and closures. That's my whole principle of that. If we can do that, more people can do that, the whole world will be better. If we can do uh, thoughts, um, um, uh, my, uh, do final thoughts, do closures at the end of the videos, the world will be a better place. It would be a better place. If, if you're a person that in your family that has passed away, your mom, dad, sister, daughter passed away, you need to have closure. You need to have closure. It can't just linger off and not have any closures. Closures, that means uh, you got to figure out how they passed away to if if there's any any resistance asked after the fact because there's there could be some nightmares after that that your loved one's no longer in this world and you closures really give you that satisfaction that your loved one's okay and passed on to the another realm in the world like in the heavens and um you know, you know why i'm talking about this because the true enough true fact that when we all pass away we're all going to see our mighty uh, Lord and Savior and uh, Jesus Christ uh, we're all going to see him we're not going to go to hell people say we're not going to go to hell and the people who like to talk about hell are either uh, evangelism to um, to the righteous left they all want to create that hell thing in our world they all want to go to hell that's <laughs> they they don't want to go with Jesus Jesus is our Lord and Savior and only will be in the world of ours. I know everybody has a different opinion about Jesus and the Lord and Savior, but we all need Jesus in our world today because we're hurting. A lot of people in the world today are hurting. I kid you not. I'm not hurting for me. I know a lot of people are in the world today because all their loved ones are passing away, but they all, they're all hurting about something, and uh, they need closures in their lives about if the loved one did pass away or not. Um, we all need closures, and that's why after autopsies or anything that has to do with uh, humans, um, need closures. Need always closures, because that, that uh, at least it gives them a sort of idea that their loved one's gone and no, won't be, be on this earth anymore. We're all going to leave this planet. Um, we're all going to die at a certain age, maybe when we're 80 years old to 100. Um, I like to believe that. And we all need closures, no matter if the loved ones lived or died. The living, the living people, they call the living people on this planet who are walking amongst ourselves to uh, 
you know, we all want to live. We all want to live to we're 100 years old. I want to believe that. I want to live to 100 years, at least 120 years old. But uh, that's never in the cards. We all want to live. And Queen Elizabeth II, who is London, England, she's about 93 years old. I kid you not, people. She's 93 years old. The oldest uh, royal monarchy in the world. 93 years old. The Queen Elizabeth II in London, England. The all queens of all queens. Um, and, um, yeah, we're all going to pass away. We're all going to see our, our creator in the world. That is the Lord and Savior. We're all going to be there in the church. We're going to pray for the people that need to be prayed about. Uh, well, not be prayed, but got to pray for uh, the healing, the healing in the world. We need a lot of healing on this planet. I mean, for Donald Trump to be Donald Trump in the world, a lot of people are, are just, just, they need healing. They need, uh, they need a compass in their world. They need direction in their lives. They need direction in their lives. And the only way that a human beings on the United States need direction, they need compass in their lives. They need a uh, purpose in their lives. And I've heard this so many on TV shows and stuff. They need purpose, they need compass, they need direction. It's like a GPS, they need direction. Uh, GPS is like a direction you want to go to, A to B, to get there, not really fast, but get there safely. They always talk about the safely part. And uh, the GPS will always be there for you. And I, I'm sorry I'm raising my voice again. I'm raising my voice again. I'm sorry. I'm ranting raves and raising my voice. I'm like a nuka poo. Um, anyway, thank you for uh, listening to me on this lovely day. On this lovely day. I just want to talk about we all have feelings and we're all going to be there with Jesus Christ. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm raising my voice, everybody.